Hey, it's Neil here from neilcaters.me. This is just a quick video about gravity forms and an issue or a bug that I'm seeing again. It did seem to go away, but it seems to come back again. So I'm running the very latest version of gravity forms and also the most recent version of WordPress. But I'm also using the Genesis framework, the Parallax Pro theme here. But things I want to look at is I've got a gravity form here, which is the first name and the email field but then also on this page at the bottom I've also got a form again and if I if you're entering something in here then quite often you want if you're entering something in the name field quite often you want to just push the tab key on your keyboard to move to the next field but when I do this you see it jumps down to the name field in this form at the bottom if I push it again it jumps up here to say skip the toolbar if I push the tab again, then it goes to this field. When you push the tab again, it goes down here. Of course, you don't want that to happen. When you push the tab, you just want it to jump straight to the next field. And also, I've got forms on my about page to sign up to the email newsletter. So again, I'm in this first name field, and if I push tab, it jumps down to the first field in the in the form below. So I've got two forms there. I push the tab again, it jumps down to this form at the bottom of the website. Tab again, it goes up to the skip to toolbar, and tab again goes into this email field. And finally, I've got a form on my contact page, and I'm in the first name field here. And if I push, if I push the tab, it jumps down to the name down here, then up here. If I push it again, it jumps here and down here. Of course, that's not very really good, and it's the user experience on the website will be diminished if you do that. So a way to get around this is just to add some code to your functions.php file. And Gravity Form says that this bug is fixed in the more recent versions, but it's obviously still happening for me, and I expect it will be happening for some of you. So a way to fix that is I'll just go into my dashboard. And then just to show you, I'll go to my forms and updates to show that I'm using the most recent version. So the version of Gravity Forms and MailChimp is up to date. It doesn't tell me what version it is here. So I'll go to my plugins. So I'm using Gravity Forms version 1.9.13, which is the very latest version. I'm also running and I'm also running version 4.3 of WordPress. Okay, so what we need to do is just go to Appearance Editor and go to the functions.php or the theme functions file and go right down to the bottom. And I've got no additional code in here apart from the default that came with this theme. So now I'm just going to paste some code in here that I will also make available in the description of the YouTube video and also on my website neilcurtis.me for this particular tutorial. But the code is this. And this code works for me, but if it doesn't work and there are some conflicts, you can try changing this starting index value of a thousand to a higher value if you need and see if it resolves the conflict. So I'm just going to update this file. Let me go back. And now if I click in this first name box and I push tab, it goes straight to the second one, which is exactly what we want. If I go to this form at the bottom, enter my name, push tab, go straight to this enter your email. And we'll just show that it works in all other forms. So we're in here, push tab, jump straight to the next one, push tab. Now it goes down to the second form and tab again it goes to the next one so it's doing exactly what you wanted to do and then finally on this form we can fill our name push tab email push tab put in our question and you can submit your form so no longer does it jump around the page to different forms and doesn't so doesn't go up here to this toolbar area it just goes straight to the next field that you wanted to do and i think this conflict happens when you have more than one form on a particular page so if you've just got one form you may or may not get this problem 
although I think it does jump up to this tab area up here when you do have one form so there's still an issue so there you go if you have this tab index issue on your forms or your gravity form on your website this will hopefully help you out okay it'll be great if you could subscribe to my youtube channel and then you can hear about new videos as soon as I have them head over to my website at www.neilcaters.me where you'll see loads more wordpress tutorials and tips about websites and you can sign up to the email list over there the email newsletter and I can keep you updated also about new stuff on the website